What's up guys, my name is Revive Storm and welcome back to another RPG Maker MV tutorial. This time, we're doing a something a little different. This time, we're going to be attempting to create some Fire Emblem skills. Some being very easy to make, others being slightly difficult. Let's get straight into it, shall we? Now let's go to our database, as always. Our first skill we're going to be demonstrating is Wrath. Wrath is a skill in which when the user's HP is below a certain percentage, it'll increase their critical hit rate, usually by 50%. In this case, we're going to make it so that when the user's HP is below 50% of max HP, actually I should, I should probably uh, fix that, it will increase their critical hit rate by 100%. That might seem a little overkill, but I'm using this to prove that it actually works. Now, we're going to be using a plugin called Auto Passive States by Yenfly. Here we have our passive state number, which is 22. If we go that same number in our states here, you can see that we have our state. There's not there's not much to uh, put here in in terms of parameters and such. But this parameter, however, is slightly important. Actually, is pretty much the point of the entire skill. Increasing critical hit rate by 100%, or however however much percent you want it to have. And this note tag, which is specific to auto passive states, has a condition: HP below 50%. Now let's see it in action. Alright, so first we're going to do a little attack so we can see how much damage we do. A nice solid 183. And he's going to attack to get us under Wrath range, which is way below 50%. Now if we do one more basic attack, you can see that it does 554 damage, which is about triple we had before. So as you can see, Wrath had worked properly. Alright, our next one shall be Bane. Or Soul. We can go, we can go either. Although Bane is probably a lot easier. Bane is a skill specific to Whispers and Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn that, when activated, will lead a target with 1 HP. As you can tell by its description, sometimes it's a blessing and sometimes it's a curse. Now, see, our obvious formula is BHP, which is the enemy's HP, minus 1, so that it'll always stay at 1 HP. Uh, there's nothing much to do in terms of the action sequencing. But if we did need to do something with action sequencing, it'll be there in case we do need it. Obviously. Now let's showcase that one now. Now let's get on with Bane, which should leave the target with 1 HP. Now as you can see here, it does 999,097 damage. Alright, this next one's gonna be really easy. Soul restores HP equal to damage dealt. Although in some games, it just restores HP equal to 50% of damage dealt. But it doesn't really matter what, how much it'll restore in this case, because we'll be able to change it however we want. Well, first of all, of course, our formula. It doesn't really matter what you put here. Our scope needs to be one enemy, and our occasion needs to be on the battle screen. Oh, actually, I should probably explain that uh, Bane, Soul, and Luna and Aether in the future, of this, well, later in this video, We'll all need both of these turned on to these specific uh, parameters here. Um, action sequencing doesn't matter. Now this note tag is, well, it correlates to Yanfly's other plugin, Lifesteal, appropriately named. All we need to do is set the note tag HP Lifesteal 100% and it'll heal 100% of the damage. Or whatever you want to, or however much you want to heal instead. Now I'll show that one. All right, next is Soul. Uh, we'll just get on with uh, choosing Soul. Deal damage, and we heal ourselves just as expected. All right, our next one is a little bit trickier, but it shouldn't be that hard. Luna, in game, it uh, ignores the target's defense. Oh wait, ignores the target's defense or magic defense by 50%. I guess I should put that too. Uh, same skill and occasion as Soul and Bane, so one enemy in battle screen. Formula doesn't matter. And action sequencing is kind of a must here. So let's go to our states. We have this one specific state called Luna, appropriately named. Uh, you don't need an icon, no nothing here either. Parameters. These parameters will determine that the enemy's defenses and magic defenses will be halved. Now, we'll now if we get to our action sequencing, now before the action effect happens, action effect is when the damage and stuff is applied, we, we have to add that state to our target, 
and after that, we would remove it. Or you can keep it if you want, although it's gonna make the battle a lot easier. And let's see it in action. Now, up next is Luna, and we're gonna go right on with selecting it once again, as we do for every single other skill. And we'll deal a little bit more damage in Soul due to the fact that their defenses have been lowered. Or negated. Whatever you want to call it. Alright, this next one is, is dreadfully harder than the last two, even though it's basically a combination of both of them. Aether. Oh, these are, these are, I think these are the wrong, uh, tags anyway. Uh, Aether triggers Soul and Luna consecutively. But first, it'll heal damage equal to a certain percentage. Then, it'll deal damage while ignoring half of the target's defense or magic defense. Depending on what you want, basically. Again, scope, one enemy, occasion battle screen, yada yada, formula, same thing. Or it doesn't matter. Now, since we don't want lifesteal for both attacks, we're gonna do something about this lifesteal here. Now obviously we're gonna keep the lifesteal for 100%, but here we have a state called Aether Cancel. This will be applied to an enemy to make sure that the next attack, the second attack, they won't be drained of HP. They'll just be damaged, that's all. Now if we go back to our skills and action sequencing, you can see here that this is our first attack, which will deal damage and heal the user appropriately. Then we'll add this state, which is the one where it causes the enemy to negate any lifesteal or drain effects. And then we have this state, which again is the Luna skill. So the same state we just used. And again, we're gonna have to remove that. And remove that, that other one too. I guess we gotta do that. Uh, let's see in action. Now here we have Aether. Again, it's a combination of Soul and Luna, so... First of all, it should heal ourselves. And then it should do a little bit more damage than that. Due to the defenses being lowered. That's it for today, guys. I'm actually recording this right after I finish editing the Aether part. I also don't know if there's any mistakes in the video. Because I don't want to watch it again or edit things that may cause more problems for me in the future. So, I have some more ideas on what firing skills I can recreate, but that'll be for at least one month. I have something planned for next week. It shouldn't, it's actually gonna be really easy to edit because it's just me recording and talking at the same time. And thus is the end. See you guys and stay safe. Oh wait, there's more. No, I didn't make a mistake. I actually did plan for this to be right at the end because these are going to be like, what, three seconds long to make each of these skills? Let's get right into it, shall we? For these last three skills, you will you will need passive states again. For Paragon, all you need to do is set a special parameter of experience to 200%. For Renewal, you just need to set the extra parameter to HP regeneration plus 10%. In Bue, you you need to plug in in the damage over time from Yanfi using the regen formula B dot mat or A dot mat because it doesn't really matter if you're using passive states unless you're using it for someone casting it on the target. And that's actually the end of all this shenanigans. See you guys and stay safe.